Well, one of the panelists at this year's Forbes Women's Summit was Ivanka Trump, as we saw in that report. And at just 33 years old, she's the executive vice president of acquisitions and development of the Trump Organization. She's also the founder of an apparel and accessories company, best-selling author, and mother of two. Tracy sat down with Trump as she explained how she balances it all and discussed some of the challenges that come with her famous last name. Well, for me right now, everything is about top priority. I'm a wife, um, another top priority. I work alongside of my brothers at the Trump Organization, spearheading our development and acquisitions. Um, I run our hotel company um, with my family, and I have my own business. So, you know, I think that's part of what every person and every entrepreneur experiences, but um, just ensuring that I'm in the right place at the right time. Um, I'm supplementing my weaknesses with the right people. Um, who have the skill set, the next level, um, and, uh, and really just being very thoughtful about what I want to be, what I want this company to be, um, and, and the plan for the business over, over both the mid and, and ultimately the long term. I'm 33 years old, so I don't want to be thinking about the next three years. I have to be thinking about the next several decades, and, and that's something that um, really it keeps me up at night, but in a, in a very positive way. So would you say that the secret sauce to building your own business would be hiring the right people, people that perhaps have strengths where you lack in? So I think there are a couple of things. You know, when I look at my friends who have been incredibly successful um, entrepreneurs, obviously you have to have an idea and it has to be a good one. Timing may be even more important than the, than the idea because many great ideas have been too early, they've been too late, or they've um, come about at the wrong time in a cycle that really renders everything else irrelevant. You have to be supported by an incredibly strong team. So, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs talk about how lonely it is because they're making decisions by themselves and, and really spearheading the growth of an organization. But you're not, you're not alone. You have a team and you have to build sort of a family around you that can support and, um, and align uh, with ultimately the vision you set. And, and I think for me, it's about understanding where I can uniquely add value, understanding what I'm really good at versus capable at versus not so good at, um, and, uh, and making sure that I have the right bench to fill in um, in those lower ends of the spectrum. And, and being, being a young person myself, it's, that's sometimes a challenge because through trial and error, you learn where you excel um, and, and where your core competency is. Ivanka, you come from a famous family. Your father, Donald Trump, is a global figure. He's known all over the world. Did having the Trump surname help you in your business, or did it perhaps also hinder you? A lot of people who come from famous families often feel they have to work that much harder to prove themselves. Talk to me about that experience. So it definitely helps. Um, it's an incredible last name, and it's, you know, I was born into a very privileged circumstance. I had unbelievable parents, I have unbelievable parents who every day of my life have been incredible role models for me and, and mentors to me, both personally and professionally. Um, and I have a, a last name that's globally recognized. I think where the challenge comes for a lot of people, and, and I've noticed this in, in, with friends that I have who, who grew up in families where they're, one of their parents or both of their parents were either very wealthy or just very successful, um, very, had done incredibly well in their chosen field. I find that the children tend to react in one of two ways. It either paralyzes them because they're fearful of doing anything, least they not measure up, or on the flip side, it's a great motivator. And you recognize that you have to earn the respect of people. And in some ways, you have to work harder to earn the respect of the same people um, because because not everyone's rooting for you to, to succeed. So, you know, I, the way I looked at it is um, that obviously it was this tremendous asset. Um, I'm incredibly proud of my family, but I also, you know, the fear of not measuring up, the fear of failure was a great motivator for me as well. What's the biggest business lesson you have learned along the way that you can share with other women out there who want to perhaps build a successful business or emulate what you have done? I think the key is that you have to follow your passion 
And a big part of that is figuring out what it is that you're passionate about. So when you're young, you have to try many different things. I have a lot of friends who are working hard, who are highly capable, who are very intelligent, but they don't love what they're doing and they'll never be great as a result. So you really have to find what it is that you're deeply passionate about if you, if you want to be successful in that field. I ask all the women that I interview, can women truly have it all? Because when someone looks at your life from the outside in, your mother, your wife, you're a real estate developer, you have a full-time job, but you have another full-time job because you also have a very successful clothing and accessories business. So it seems like you have it all, but do you think women really can have it all? I think it's a very difficult question, um, and it's one that I try not to answer for other people, because I think by its nature, what does having it all mean? It means different things to different people. You know, for me, it's, it's very important to have a family, but it's also very important to be professionally fulfilled. For some people, one of those is important and the other isn't. So, you know, I think you have to figure out what your priorities are in, in life are, and then architect your life around those priorities. I think when people start to get lost, it's when their lives are grossly inconsistent with their value set and, and their core priorities. So for me, you know, at the end of every week, I sort of do a self-assessment of, did I spend my time in the right way? Was I where I needed to be? You know, it's, there are some days it's okay to not be home for dinner. Um, if I have a big deal, my priority may be that for that moment of time, but I also know if my child ever gets sick, if anything happens, well, there goes every other priority. So I think it's, it's always a balance, and you just have to do the best you can do. And you can watch the complete interview with Ivanka Trump on our website. And while you're there, check out her answer to our question, what inspired you to start a business? It's our one more question on cctvamerica.com.